Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset Channel. When conducting clinical research, one of the essential steps is performing a literature review. This process helps researchers gather, analyze, and summarize the existing body of knowledge on a specific topic. In this video, we'll dive into what a literature review is, the different types available, the key steps involved, and why it's crucial in clinical research. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. What is a literature review in the first place? A literature review is a comprehensive examination of existing research on a particular subject. This process involves searching for, analyzing, and summarizing scholarly articles, books, and other credible sources. In clinical research, this helps provide the necessary context for making informed decisions about patient care, medical treatments, or health conditions. Literature reviews are beneficial for a wide range of professionals in the medical field, including researchers, clinicians, and medical writers. They allow you to stay up to date on current trends and inform future studies or clinical trials. There are two primary types of literature reviews, systematic reviews and narrative reviews. One, Systematic reviews follow a structured approach to identify and analyze all relevant studies on a given topic. They provide a comprehensive overview of the literature, ensuring that all evidence is included. Two, narrative reviews, on the other hand, offer a summary of existing research without the rigid structure of a systematic review. This type of review is more flexible and can be adapted to the researcher's needs. In addition to these two main types, there are other forms like scoping reviews, rapid reviews, and integrative reviews. These types of reviews often overlap, and researchers can combine approaches based on their goals. The literature review process can be broken down into four key steps. One, literature search. Begin by conducting a comprehensive search for relevant sources. This step usually involves databases and search engines to find scholarly articles, books, and other materials. Two, critical appraisal. Once you've gathered sources, the next step is to evaluate them for quality and relevance. Assess the credibility of the authors, journals, and any other sources you plan to include in your review. Three, research synthesis. After appraising your sources, organize the findings into coherent arguments or themes. This step is crucial in drawing clear conclusions based on the literature. Four, writing the review. The final step is to write the literature review, summarizing the research findings and highlighting the most relevant evidence. A few issues can arise during the literature review process. One common challenge is finding reliable and high quality sources. Some materials may not be easily accessible or indexed in major databases, making it difficult to gather all the necessary data. Additionally, it's vital to evaluate the relevance of your sources to your specific research question. Including only the most pertinent studies ensures your review remains focused and accurate. Let's take the example of a pharmaceutical company developing a new drug for high blood pressure. Before publishing the results of the clinical trial, the company's medical writer must prepare a literature review to set the context. By examining current treatments and the gold standards for managing high blood pressure, the review helps to explain the clinical trial's results in relation to existing knowledge. When conducting a literature review, it's essential to consider the types of research methodologies used in the sources you review. Qualitative research involves gathering data through methods like interviews and focus groups, providing insights into people's attitudes, beliefs, and experiences. Quantitative research involves experiments, surveys, and statistical analysis, offering insights into trends and correlations between variables. Combining both qualitative and quantitative research in your literature review can provide a more comprehensive understanding of the topic at hand. In clinical research, literature reviews play a critical role. By synthesizing the best available evidence, they provide the foundation for making informed decisions about patient care and developing new hypotheses. Whether conducting a systematic review or a narrative review, following a structured process ensures that only reliable and relevant information is included. By mastering the art of literature review, researchers can strengthen their clinical studies, enhance patient care, and contribute to the advancement of medical knowledge. 
Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research.